how to express our emotions. Today we will look at emotions from a spiritual and psychological perspective. I will show you how our emotions can not only destroy us from the inside, but also harm our relationships and the world around us. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenik, I am a psychologist and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! Here I teach people just like you to become happier, healthier and more successful in life. Subscribe to my channel right now if you want to be happy and enjoy your life to its fullest. When you're watching my videos, I recommend pausing them whenever you have a question, disagreement or insight. Share it in the comments and then continue watching the video. Self-reflection is the best path to self-awareness and personal growth. It is important to write your comments as you think about them, because at the end of the video it might be too late or you may simply forget about them. So let's start today's topic and remember to pause and write your comments wherever they come to your mind. Let's talk about what are emotions. Emotions are energy, and that energy should go somewhere. When you suppress your emotions, you suppress a huge charge of energy. When I tell my clients during private and group sessions that our emotions can ruin our health, people have difficulty understanding this statement. Today I'm going to explain to you in detail how our emotions can not only make you feel bad, make us feel bad, but also can harm our body, destroy our health and ruin our life entirely. So let's talk about how we suppress our emotions. In most cases, we suppress negative emotions like anger, jealousy, fear, guilt, shame, etc. We are collecting these negative feelings inside of us and this energy is destroying us from within. When we suppress our emotions, we tense our body, uh, we create tension in our muscles and in our joints. And within time, our body loses flexibility and we feel pain more and more often. So when you suppress your emotions, you begin to eat a lot of junk food uh, and a, a lot of sugary food. And within time, you gain weight, develop diabetes and heart disease. When you suppress your emotions, you are destroying not only yourself, but the world around you. You are damaging your relationships and everything around you. Emotions are vibrations. When you are angry, people can feel it even if you say nothing. When you are upset, people can read it in your body language. When you're jealous, people can see it in your eyes. So emotions create vibrations that other people can read right away. When you're suppressing your emotions inside, you're keeping all the energy within yourself, but it's not possible to hide the vibrations. Vibrations are still visible. You're keeping your emotions inside. You're saying nothing, but people can read it. And even if you say that everything is good and even if you pretend that everything is okay, people can sense that something is not right. People can feel when you are closed off and trying to hide something. And this energy is not only destroying you from the inside, but people on the outside can feel it as well. If you are suppressing your anger, this anger sends uh, vibration to other people and is destroying your relationship. Also, the law of attraction says that the universe uh, must match the vibrations that we generate. We all have uh, the right to feel angry, to feel sad, lonely or jealous. We all human. But instead of suppressing these emotions, we should allow ourselves to feel them and to express them in a healthy way. By doing this, you will transform this destroying energy into healing energy. And at the end, you will feel relieved and free. 
So before uh, I teach you how to express your emotions in a healthy way, I would like to say thank you uh, to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And if there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, and for me, for example, I remember when I was going through a divorce in my life with my first husband, and I felt really lost and lonely at that time. I had my friends, but the emotions were so big that I could not share them with my friends. And my friends were also immigrants who were going through their own challenges. So if you're going through some challenging time, then check the link below the video because BetterHelp will find a licensed therapist uh, for you. And they will match you with a professional person that will help you to work on your situation. And you can start communicating within 48 hours. Uh, BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It is not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. And uh, the good thing that the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to a counselor. Plus, you can schedule weekly video and phone sessions. Uh, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is also available. So I have a special offer for viewers of my channel, Psychology of Happiness. You can get 10% off your first month by visiting BetterHelp. That's betterhelp.com slash psychology of happiness. So let's go back to today's topic, how to express our emotions. And it is a two-step process. Uh, you need to allow yourself to feel your emotions first, and then you can express them. In order to allow yourself to feel your emotions, you have to let yourself be vulnerable. Vulnerability can be difficult, especially for those who are used to appearing independent and confident. Vulnerability can hurt, and some people can use it for selfish purposes, unfortunately. That's why it is important to push away uh, toxic people from your life. Even if these toxic people are your family members, you need to minimize your contact with them. Being vulnerable can be risky. but if you don't follow this path, your emotions will destroy you, your relationships, and your life. So when you become vulnerable, you become yourself. When you take off your social mask, you become real. A beautiful soul that expresses life. And by the law of attraction, you will attract similar people. You will attract people who want real connections in their lives. You will attract people who will value and respect you for who you are. Only then you will realize that being vulnerable is being powerful. Once you connect to your true self, you will gain your self-confidence back. Your true self-confidence, not the mask that you showed before as a coping mechanism. When you allow yourself to feel your emotions, you can name them and you can tell other people how you truly feel. By naming your emotions, you're expressing them. You can share your fears, fears and your challenges. By admitting your emotions, you're inviting another person to open up. This will create a deep emotional connection and profound relationships in your life. First, you need to go through your fears and being judged and misunderstood. And once you express your emotions, you will experience freedom. You will acknowledge your feelings and the next step will be to accept the emotional support, care and love from others. The other person might say, I really do care about you and offer you some support or some ideas how to solve your situation. That's the natural progression of how we humans connect to each other. We tune into a real emotions, not to, not to a fake one. And we can treat each other with love and respect only when we feel that the person is honest and open with us. 
So please pause this video right now and write in the comments three emotions that you often suppress because you are afraid to express them or you suppress them because you feel that they're socially unacceptable or maybe you just don't know how to express them. Stop the video right now and write three emotions that you often suppress for one or another reason. I would like to read your comments and I will reply, I promise. This is your first healing step. Name your emotions and be brave. Share them with the community of people who are just like you watching this video looking for emotional support and understanding. Uh, if you don't do this, then these emotions will harm your body and will destroy your life, will destroy you from the inside, will destroy the relationship and the life that you have. Before ending this video, I would like to offer you a gift. If you want to receive seven free self-development webinars that will help you to understand yourself better, seven free guided meditations to lower your anxiety and boost your self-esteem, and seven free healing exercises to overcome your fears, to let go of your limiting beliefs and manifest your dreams, then check the link below the video. I will send them to you right away. Just enter your email and check your inbox. Please share this video with your friends and family. If it was helpful, like, subscribe and share. When you do so, it really motivates me to create more videos for you. Thank you very much for watching my video and see you next time. Bye.